Hi guys, welcome to Digital Tech Drawing. I hope everybody is doing good. In this third video tutorials on Microsoft Azure, I'm going to cover how to set up a VM or server on our account. And before this video, we have released two videos on how to register a free account in Azure and plus understanding the tricks and tips of using Microsoft Azure. I recommend that you watch both the videos and then switch over to this videos where we are going to show you how to create a resource that is VM. We'll start with setting up a server that is setting up a VM. So basically a VM is a virtualization concept where we are not buying any physical hardware. So we are going to create a VM out of out of a server that is already hosted by Microsoft and we are going to use that VM. So the VM will act as a server for us and the responsibility of configuration patching everything will be us but then we don't have to actually worry about the physical hardware and procuring the physical hardware and maintaining so that is the beauty of uh, creating a virtual machine that we are going to do in this tutorials so this is the dashboard which is you can see right in front of you and here you can see virtual machine so this is a like one of the core services offered by microsoft azure now here you can access virtual from here otherwise you can type in a global search like virtual machines plus on your left hand side menu you will be able to access virtual machines over here so these are the touch points where you can click and create a virtual machine you can also use quick start center so when you go to quick start center you can see deploy a virtual machine so let me just start from here only so here is a deploy virtual machine run your workloads in the cloud and reduce the redundancy and maintenance of physical hardware so that is what i had mentioned so when you click on that you get option linux or windows so i am going with windows machine i click on create yeah so here you can see this is the configuration required to set up a vm on azure so there are multiple options versus a basic one then there is disk networking management monitoring advanced tax review and create now in the basic we have the, the sizing that we need to provide basically whenever you go for any pc or any server you need to set up certain uh, parameters which you require as per your requirement that is ram processor os and everything so that is what we are going to set up over in the basic section so what you can see is the subscription is a free trial and there is a resource group which i explained in my previous video i just select my resource group that is resource group uh, free version now here if you scroll down here you can see the name of the virtual machine so let me pop digital tech drawing vm1 so this is my virtual machine name digital tech drawing vm1 then this is a region i have selected india availability zone as so you can select availability zone i can say multiple zones but for the demo i keep it only one then if you scroll down you can see see all sizes you select on that and you can list of vms available now here for free trial i'm selecting b1s which is uh, having a minimum configuration and less costing so i select that and i proceed Okay, so I selected Serenade B1 already and here you can see if I scroll up I have selected standard and this is a server that is 2016 data center and so this is something called run with Azure spot discount where it provides you discounts on it's like bidding um, but the, I don't recommend this to be ticked unless until you have something running on your server which is least important. Then once I select the sizing, I need to provide the username. I say uh, digital, so digital tech VM user. So this is a big name, but it's fine. So I just copy this in my notepad. This is my user, and the password which I want to select is cloud learn. One two three dollar cloud learn one two three dollar. So this is a password that I've set cloud learn one two three dollar. 
So I selected my name, username, password, and for public inbound, I'm selecting RDP port that is 3389 because after the VM is created, I'll be connecting to my server using the RDP client. So I click on next. Here you specify the hard disk that you require. So here you can see that it's premium SSD which we don't require. I'll go with standard HSD for the demo and make sure that you click on delete with VMs. And once you delete any VM and if you untick it, so your hardware resource will be still active and that will incur your cost. So make sure that with the VM, if you have any storage attached and it, you can take it at least for the tutorials. So basis on your requirement, maybe it is possible that you don't need to delete the storage associated with VM. So once I do that, I click on networking. Here you can see virtual machine by default it is take it, created a new one and this is my virtual machine. Then I have a subnet which allows me the number of hosts and IP addresses. By default it is slash 22. Uh, then it's a public. So I'm selling a new public ID will be assigned to me. Basic security and then inbound is RDP as I mentioned. So I don't require load balancing as of now. I click on management and here it's if you want to enable auto shutdown and all just backups and everything is there. I right now I just untick it. I don't require it. Then we have something called monitoring. If I would, if you need to enable monitoring, you can do that. I'm not doing it for right now. And in your there is some extension and custom data tags that you can mention it while your system boots. It, you can create certain settings that can be mentioned over here. Okay. Then you click on tags. This is your tag. So I'm just saying um, VM, uh, my first VM. Okay, and for creating all this, this is the total resources that has been enabled it. So I just click on. So here you will get an option called create. So I'm just going to select the next button. This is review. So this is a review option where it validation is passed. This is the amount that is calculate per hour basis and if you scroll down this is the settings that you've enabled you can go back and change it if you require you can just simply click on the tab it will go to the section i'll click on review and create and i'm going to click on the create button so while the vms is set up you can see in the notification panel already i told you in the previous session this notification panel will have an updated status of whatever you actions you're taking so this is just not a notification on your billings or costing this also manages your in progress uh, resources that are currently being uh, deployed and used okay so while the vms are getting set up i'll just go to the home page so here you can see the my vm uh, options is available dtvm so let me just check whether it is already enabled so if you click on the notification you can see deployment is still in progress so let us wait till the vms is deployed so you can see guys deployment succeeded so our vm is successfully created now either you can pin it to dashboard or you can go to the resort i will just pin it to dashboard and i will also go to the resource directly so here i've pinned my resource and i'll go to resource so this is how you can land up to your VM that is created. The other way option is you go to the dashboard and here you can see on your resource you can see digital tech join VM iPhone 1 which is my VM. You can access the VM from here plus you can also search virtual machine and once you search virtual machine you can see in your virtual machine section here you can see digital tech join this available as a virtual machine and finally if you click on the left hand side menu here you can see virtual machine you can also access from your vms from here so this is a vm you can see the name of the vm type free trial and there is a group under which the vm is created status is currently running and it's in windows os operating system and now we'll click on the rvm and once you click on the vm we get a window which as a details of our entire vm so if you click on the overview you can see uh, it has essences that is the name of the resource status your public ip address uh, that we will use to connect through an rdp and then we have our properties 
monitoring service which I did not enable it so right now it is showing giving me option to enable it and capabilities that what you can do with this VMs recommendation right now it says your resources following as our best practices and then we obviously we have tutorials so you can see the tutorials videos right over here on understanding more about VMs so our VM is ready it's running in a running state and on the top menu you can see there is an option to connect then uh, since it's already started the start button is disabled then we can restart it uh, stop or we can delete obviously then refresh it and give a feedback and then we have CLI console also where we can uh, use it and these are the commands that are already displayed for user to use it let's go back to our VM click on our VM details and now let's connect our VM using our RDP so here for that connecting of RDP I'll select my public IP address and I've already have my username and password. So click on run and type msd. You can see it's already there or remote desktop connection. Now I will copy, I'll just expand this and I'll copy the computer ID and I'll just try to connect. So this was my username digital tech and when I try to connect, it will prompt me for a password. So I'll enter the password and let's see whether it's getting connected. Yes, you can see now I've entered. Yes, it was successfully connected because this screen comes in when it, you were able to successfully connect it. And I click on yes. Fantastic. Here congratulations everybody here this is the first vm that we have successfully deployed and it really feels good to access our vm on client because now you will see your entire server your own vm that where you can access it so rdp is still connecting and here you can see our server is ready and this is what our server look like so this is our vm that we created and here is a here you can do your activity currently it's prompts to connect to the internet i am selecting thing as no so this is how we have connected to our vm and i'll just show you certain troubleshoot features and disconnected it so when you open your remote desktop connection is msdsc so when you open that make sure a couple of things because i was facing some issue which i don't want you guys to face it so now this is an ip address and that you need to copy from here this is your user but sometimes uh, what happens is when I try to connect it, if you see, if you try to connect it, here you get this window where it is prompt to enter your username. Now, suppose if you by default, it might, if you click on more choices, right now I have selected this digital tech VM. Okay, but in case it will by default connect you to, to your own PC uh, user account and you will not be able to understand what is issue. Whenever you face such problem, just click on more, more choices and select a different user and then you specify the IP. That is, I'm just specifying the IP right now. So I'll just show it to you. I'll just copy this. More choice, say different, select IP. With a, this is your domain and then you specify the username and then the password so I repeat guys so you need to select more choice then select a different user account then specify the IP slash and the username because this acts as a domain and then the username and then your password this is how you need to punch in the details if you are facing error connecting your vm on azure so uh, make sure that you do that because uh, while i was connecting to the vm i was i was not i did not click more choice and it was connecting to my default uh, microsoft account and i was specifying the vm's username and password and it was not able to connect so this is also a part of troubleshoot that i want to cover if at all you face any issue connecting to your vm now let's click on ok and you can see it got successfully connected great so our vm is ready 
and I was able to successfully connect the second time as well using a different method of connecting. So guys, this covers our tutorial on setting up a VM and connecting the VM from our RDP. You can also connect a VM from SSH and Bastion. So here, when you, I, I just wanted to show you in your VM, when you go to overview, here you can see connect option. The moment you say connect option, just in case if you are facing issue on how to install or how to uh, get hold of remote desktop connection, well, very simply just click on uh, click on the connect. Just click on the go to your VM details. Click on overview. Click on connect. The moment you click on connect, you get three option. The first option is RDP where it displays the public IP address and the port, and simply you download the rdp so once you download the rdp it's get downloaded and if you just click on that you will get this window and you click on ok and you can have a similar window second second thing that you need to note while troubleshooting connecting your vm is that your inbound connection string sorry your inbound connection option which should be enabled so click on overview here you can go down in your net in your vms networking here you can see inbound rules. So now my first inbound rule, which is RDP 3389, which is already enabled. So you need to just make sure you need to make sure that uh, uh, this option is set to priority top. Uh, that is the reason the number is 300, which is less than the other uh, rules. So if at all, if you want to, if it is not 3389, then you can create your own add inbound rule and make sure that you have. 3389 specified and any connection and then say add and also set the priority to less than 300 it can be 290 so what happens you are able to connect it so uh, so basically you can see in the notification section in the notification section that uh, the rule is created and here if i refresh it i'll just refresh it once so i'll just refresh it and you can see this rule is now uh, taken uh, in impact and you can see it is 3389 and all collection uh, since i already had this rule by default i was able to connect but i just wanted to make sure that you were aware of this uh, setting so guys this covers uh, the vm uh, tutorial uh, thank you for watching uh, please do subscribe my channel share my channel with your friends colleagues and family and help us grow our channel so also do like and uh, comment on my videos thank you so much